If you flash the Android 12 developer preview on a Pixel, the first thing you'll probably notice is how visually it's basically just Android 11. Of course, there are plenty of under the hood code changes that are super important for developers. Visually though, this could pretty much be any of the past few versions of Android. But big changes are coming further down the line, as revealed by peeking into the code of Android 12 and enabling certain hidden features. A bunch of people in the Android community have been doing just that over the past few days, so we're going to dive in and take a look at them right now. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our ongoing coverage of Android 12, and we'll get stuck into our top 5 hidden features. So the Conversations or People Space widget first cropped up in leaked Android 12 mockups distributed by Google to Android phone makers. There are a bunch of UI changes here that we'll get to later, along with a bunch of references to a certain 90s TV show. But the important thing, even more important than why Monica is making dinner for everyone even on her birthday, is that Google is clearly working on a central widget combining messages with other information on the important people in your life. Thanks to some reverse engineering from Quinny899 on XDA Developers, it's possible to see a very early working version of this widget in the current developer preview. Its functionality is super basic at the moment, but it bears a striking resemblance to what we've seen in these mockups from Google. Of course, it's not the first time we've seen something like this on a smartphone. The entire concept is quite similar to Windows Phone's live tile system, which centered on interactions around individuals as opposed to apps. Google's end goal here could be to have something messaging app developers can hook into to show important information on the home screen. But if this is something that apps have to opt into, then we could be waiting for a while to see PeopleSpace reach its full potential. After all, many chat apps still don't support Android's message bubble features that went live almost six months after it launched with Android 11. Something else we saw in those leaked Android 12 mockups from Google was the ability for Android to theme itself based on the colors in your wallpaper, a feature apparently codenamed Monet. This is absent from the developer preview unless you go tinkering with the code. That's exactly what Android ROM developer KDragon did, and thanks to his efforts we can get an idea of what it might actually look like. The overall look and feel of this automatic theming is going to depend on how Google sets things up and which colors are actually picked from the wallpaper, but as you can see here, the various accent colors that are used in places throughout the system UI, like the notification shade, the lock screen, quick settings, and the settings app. We can also see early hints of this new theming system in the current developer preview 1, even without any changes. Various places in the UI use this light blue hue, likely a placeholder for when Monet will be properly enabled in a future build of Android 12. However things shake out though, this feature will definitely have a sizable impact on the way Android 12 looks and feels. Next is something we covered in our original Android 12 hands-on video that carries the rather odd codename of Silky Home. This hidden feature enabled by tweaking settings flags completely changes the way the built-in settings app looks, giving much more of a Samsung One UI aesthetic. The key thing here is that all the various menus and toggles become a lot easier to use on a big screen phone, thanks to the large text header that expands to fill the top part of the screen and shrinks down as you scroll. As this is a hidden feature, don't read too much into the specifics of how it looks and functions just yet, but it is clear just by looking at that big changes are coming to Android's settings app. And once again, the visual overhaul that we see here in Silky Home does closely match one of those leaked Android 12 mockups from Google. So sooner or later, this is probably how your Android settings app is gonna look. An iPhone-like widget stacking feature looks likely to come to Android 12, at least for the permanent at-a-glance widget at the top of the Pixel launcher. That's the area that shows weather, date, upcoming appointments and the like. Hidden keys unearthed in Android 12's Pixel launcher by XDA's Michelle Rachman let you expand the widget to two rows or make it scrollable similar to a widget stack on iOS. So you could easily imagine using this to be able to show more stuff in the at-a-glance area without cluttering up your home screen or having more information viewable at one time, for example your next appointment and the weather or maybe even travel directions. Once again, there's more clues and corroboration from those leaked Android 12 mockups, which does seem to show the at-a-glance widget taking up two rows of space. It's too early to say exactly what this will be used for, but it's a promising addition and could signal more changes to the way widgets work in the Pixel launcher. It isn't just the home screen and settings and widgets getting an overhaul, large parts of Android's system UI may be getting a fresh coat of paint in Android 12. XDA has unearthed evidence of custom lock screen clocks coming to Pixel phones in the new version, something that originally looked like it might be coming way back in Android 10. With other big UI changes on the way, now would seem to be the time for the humble lock screen clock to get a bit of an overhaul. And broader system UI changes were unearthed by XDA as well, in the form of a sort of work in progress UI that makes several changes to the lock screen, quick settings, notifications, and media controls. This is incomplete and will almost certainly change over the course of the next six months, 
but you can already see steps being made here in the direction of that leaked Android 12 mockup, including less text, fewer lines, and larger controls for the brightness and quick settings toggles. So we haven't quite arrived at the new look Android just yet, but we are definitely getting there. Before we wrap up, it is worth restating once again these are hidden features, and this is a developer preview, so there's a good chance that stuff we see here will look somewhat different when Android 12 starts rolling out officially. Nevertheless, it's pretty clear this is going to be one of the biggest Android launches in recent years, ranking among those rare updates that really do change the look and feel of things. Let us know which one you're looking forward to the most down in the comments, and subscribe for more Android 12 goodness in the coming months. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.